Hi, my name is Sebastian. I'm one of the partner software engineers working with Blackboard uh, with the business development team. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to migrate uh, an LTI 1.1 to 1.3 within the system. Uh, for this specific video, we're going to be using a tool developed by Blackboard, which is available for the public uh, or to da for download. Um, you can download it from uh, Blackboard's uh, GitHub page and you can download this repo. Uh, this is a Node.js application that you can run either uh, in a Docker uh, with the Docker Compose file or you can run the npm start command um, to spin up this specific tool. Uh, this tool is registered in developer.blackboard.com. It has all the, the specifics uh, of a, a regular tool that you can use. In addition to this, we're going to be using the latest release at the time of recording, which is 3900.10.0, which is a SAS release. However, this is going to work with, in, with either uh, a SAS, a managed hosted or a self-hosted environment. Uh, keep in mind that this it will only work if the environment supports 1.3 uh, integrations or LTI tools. So if we go into the, into the system, this system, I'm going to the LTI tool providers. You can see here that we have registered this 1.1 tool. And if we go into the manage, uh, into the placements, you can see here that we have a content tool and a deep linking tool. So for this demonstration, I have created this specific course. Within the course, I'm going to go and create uh, the content tool, like so. And I'm going to create uh, the deep linking tool. So in this case, the deep linking is going to link to the test um, the test tool that we have that is going to return uh, any of these options. I'm going to select the second option, which is one LTI link. We've, we click on submit. This is going to display the information of the of the launch. I'm going to click submit again. And as you can see here, uh, there is the sample sample launch right here. If we go ahead and click on any, any of them, you can see here that this is a, uh, a standard 1.1 launch, which is a form launch with all the information. And if we go into the deep linking uh, launch, it's going to perform the same task with a 1.1 launch. So to migrate this, what, we, what the system administrators of each environment needs to do is just go into the administrator panel, go into LTI tool providers. You can click on register LTI 1.3 advantage tool. And in here, each administrator has to uh, paste the client ID, which in this case is the app ID that uh, developers.blackboard.com assigned to, the, to your specific app. So you paste that thing here, the code here, you click on submit, you're going to be uh, seeing this specific message or the administrator that says you're about to migrate this tool from LTI 1.1 to LTI 1.3. Do you want to continue? You need to click on OK. This will automatically populate this information here. They can scroll down and change the institution policies accordingly um, to their needs or uh, the tool specifications and then click on submit. This automatically will change that specific tool, the tool that was there from a 1.1 to a 1.3 and you will not modify any of the placements. They will still be there as you can see here. If we go back into the course, now when we try to launch the tools without any modifications, you can see here that instead of receiving a 1.1 tool launch, it's going to receive the server or the tool is going to receive a 1.3 launch. So the system automatically will migrate the calls to send a 1.3 launch instead of the 1.1. Same thing will happen with the deep links. This is going to receive a 1.3 launch instead of a 1.1. Um, the tool that we have developed for this specific purpose um, has a specific feature which is if the system or the tool receives a 1.3 call through a 1.1 request or endpoint, which is the, this is the case, the tool will um, it will respond to the to the request as a 1.3 request instead of a 1.1, depending on the version used. However, your tool might differ from this one and it cannot handle uh, in some in some cases it. Not, might not be able to handle the 1.3 call through a 1.1 endpoint. So in this case, if you if you need to change the endpoint, what you can do is just go into the placements, 
uh, click the chevron next to the placement that you want to change click on edit and for example in this case if the tool that you design is not able to handle 1.3 requests through this LTI endpoint which is the 1.1 you can change it for the 1.3 which in this case is LTI 1.3 you can change it and if we go into if we go back into the course you can see here that uh, the tool is going to launch accordingly um, and the the URL that it's pointing to is going to change accordingly to allow your tool to handle those 1.3 requests another thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you create a content tool you cannot change the type of it after it's created so for example if you go here you should be able to see here that this specific uh, option, th these options are grayed out because once the tool is created, for example, in this case as a course content tool, you're not going to be able to change for to a system administrator, system tool or administrator tool or deep linking tool because that change uh, has some odd behavior within Learn. So this is the reason why is. Uh, this is grayed out. If you need to change the placement, it will be required to create a new placement with the type that you required and replace the links within the courses. Uh, if you have any additional question regarding this, feel free to create a case through behind the Blackboard or uh, send an email to developers at blackboard.com and we'll try to respond to you as soon as possible with the information. Hope you have a great day.